Hello and good morning. Welcome to the Car Talk for Monday, December 13th. Uh, first off, I just finished work. Uh, finished work a little early on Mondays. But uh, I did say on every podcast going forward, I will be doing a shout out to all the meal tier and higher patrons. And firstly, I would like to welcome to the Acolytes of Albright, Brian Watson. Bear Wrestling fan saw him and... Uh, and the kid, that's actually the kid in the photo of me with the thumbtack on my fucking head. But, uh, Ari Patrick Roy Thomas, Gimpy, Justin Zane, Morgan Lee, Mama Thomas, Tommy Richardson, Uncle Bobby B, and Rob Arbick. All the meal tier, all the meal tier patrons, thank you very much for your patronage and support. I sincerely appreciate it. Uh, but the support is watching these videos. It's uh, liking, retweeting my tweets, it's anything, uh, downloading the regular podcast, which, if you're a patron, you get this early in their day, and a podcast version of it, the daily podcast, I got three out of five last week, and I am, uh, one for one this week so far, I downloaded a bunch of songs for that, and if you don't know, it's a little bit of, uh, a couple words of uh, encouragement, some thoughts I have going on. It's like a short version of this. Um, but uh, before I get to anything else, also, I I would like to wish my sincerest condolences to the family of uh, Brandon Jacobs. My condolences go up to your family, your loved ones. He's a dude I trained with. I. I believe I only got a chance to have one match with him, uh, and I'll actually be including that at the end of this video, if you're watching the video. Uh, it is sunny. But, uh, yeah, he was a great dude. Uh, I'll always remember him, that he always just looked like Homer Simpson to me. Just, like, round light bulb shaped head. He was, like, the type of thick that I was jealous of. Like, he's hockey thick. He... He had, like, jacked arms and not flabby like mine. Didn't really have tits. He was just a huskier dude. Like, uh, I talk about, like, different fat body envies. And uh, he had one of the thick bodies that me as a fat boy would definitely envy yourself. Uh, but, Brandon, I, I I miss you. This affected me. It's the, between Hacker and this, it's that reminder that nothing's guaranteed in life. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. The only thing, that's so that's a lie. One thing's guaranteed in life death so it's what you do with your breath because i don't know i'm non-religious so i do not know if if there's a heaven or a hell or purgatory uh, i'm passing st Joachim's school where i went to junior and senior kindergarten my sister went until grade four uh so going by my little neighbor they had a chalkboard outside that looks super fun if i was in kindergarten again but um yeah we are It's just the mortality. I believe that when you die, it's the power bill stops being paid, so so the electricity gets turned off. But that's just how I cope with the uncertainty, how I deal with the fact of wanting to live life to its fullest. I've done magic. I've done pro wrestling. I'm doing pro wrestling. I've done stand-up comedy. I've done podcasting. I've done content creation, videos, whatever. It's just... The main reason I do this is because I do not know if there is more. So I'd rather do it all myself. And I have the benefit of being alive in this era where we can create content. We can create podcasts and not need studios bagging us or contracts. It's fucking amazing. It's hard work, but it's fucking amazing and incredible. So I'm going to take every opportunity I can for that. But something else about the current time we're in. We need to hold people accountable. This is not a holier than thou because I am the example that needed to be held accountable. It is your duty as a caring member of society or the climate or the culture of your little slice of reality or society. Uh, you need to question your authority figures. You have to question your friends, your family your coaches, your teachers, you need to question them so that you can be better. Uh, if someone says, this is where I always say, uh, show me, don't tell me, 
because uh, there's another quote I just heard of uh, everyone knows uh, the road to hell was paved with good intentions and it is just that scary reality that what you think is right might not be right for everybody uh, someone could be allergic to peanuts but you think peanuts are the healthiest thing in the world that's not up to you to decide and they, their body chemistry just can't handle it there's a little reindeer that fell over but uh yeah, there's just... Nothing's fucking guaranteed. So live it to its fullest. Uh, but also, when you're living it to its fullest, try to do as much good as you fucking can. Which is where you need to have... I do not believe in the fucking small circle friends. You need big circles so you know people's... You know how biased people are towards you, either good or bad. You need to learn how they treat other people. You need to learn how they are and they act. Because your own experiences are yours. And they could be good, they could be bad, but they're your experiences. And also, if you're trying to do good and you're you're pumping up your tires by deflating someone else's, that's not good. And I had a very long conversation with my friend Shiloh on Thursday. Wednesday? I believe it was that. Maybe Tuesday. But uh, she, she questioned my intentions on a post I put up. And she felt like I was firing shots at someone. And I, I would be completely honest, I was honest to her. I was. Because that person that I threw a shot back at has thrown so fucking many shots at me. Either subtweeting or mostly through DMs and in person to where, once again, I have a big circle of friends. So it comes back to me. Screenshots exist for a reason. Uh, and it shows people's true behavior. If you're a mental health advocate, but you're the reason that people have mental health issues and straining on them, you're not doing your job as an advocate properly. But uh, sometimes we need those conversations, and Shiloh needed to uh, needed to check my intentions there for a minute, and she did. I'm, I'm thankful she did. I've, and I'm more so thankful that she felt that it was safe to say it to me. I'm a straight enough white dude. I don't know shit. I've dropped out of high school. I I just think I have a strong moral compass of good and wrong. And sometimes there's a magnet near that compass. So that north goes a little west and east and south sometimes. But that's why you need the perspective of others to tell you and ask you. They question your intentions and ask you. Because sometimes they might be questioning something that it's not that they had no right to question. But they question it. It's like, yeah, that's why I did it. And in their mind, they might not think it's right, but once again, like peanuts. Peanuts aren't great for everyone. Some people are allergic to them. So, uh, leave you guys with that. Question everything. Hold people accountable. If you're watching the video, the match with Brandon Jacobs will be going up uh, after this. And, yeah, hold people accountable. Question your authority figures. Question your parents, your teachers, your coaches, your friends, your loved ones question everybody and everything and with that i'm gonna grab a coffee have yourself a good morning good afternoon good evening and good night just have fun stay safe staying healthy and i truly appreciate each and every one of you all the links are down below link tree at holden pro at brendan c brendan caulfield on facebook holden albright on facebook uh, most importantly patreon.com slash brendan c b-r-e-n-d-o-n-e the letter c uh, to join the Acolytes of Albright. The credits will roll. You'll see all of that. Multiple Zoom events a month. And this Friday is my last match of the year that I know of. There's a few more shows, so I might get booked. But last match of the year, Crossby Pro Wrestling Showcase show. Raising money for the Cambridge Humane Society. So bring some donations. Bring some... Uh, bring some donations. Buy a ticket. Yeah, etc., etc. I will talk to you all very soon. Have a good one. Stay safe, stay healthy. I truly appreciate it. Sincerely appreciate it. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you watching this, liking this, being a patron, not being a patron. If you support me monetarily, spiritually, figuratively, literally, whatever the fuck, I am so thankful for you because, and I've said this multiple times, i said it to multiple people, you give me a reason to not kill myself. The sense of community is very well, and I'm kind of happy with the right side of my mustache. Left side, 
but I'll talk to you all soon. Uh, enjoy the match. Uh, I will say I am the second worst wrestler in this match. So. I just got a very disconcerting message from my girlfriend. Still in a relationship. Talk to you all very soon. Have a good one.